Hi, I'm Laurie Leahy. And I'm Chris Byrne. And we're from TimeToPlayMeg.com, and we are here in the Hasbro showroom giving you a sneak peek at Toy Fair 2013. This is stuff you're not going to see until it comes out later this year, but we've got the inside look, so we're going to show you around it. And Laurie, who's your buddy here? This is my boyfriend, Kirk. <laughs> and I love him a lot, but I really wish that he would just put this down and give peace a chance. <laughs> Let's see what they got here at Hasbro. Okay, so after that stunning introduction, <laughs> Laurie, <laughs> we're here checking out Creo, boldly going where no polyvinyl chloride has gone before. Uh, this is Sean. Tell us about the Enterprise. Well, we got the USS Enterprise here. The exciting part of the uh, new Creo offerings from the Star Trek line are light tech technology. So I'm going to dim the lights here and show you our light up <laughs> warp engines and our photon torpedo launcher there in the front. And uh, let me take you inside to the bridge. <laughs> where we have, oh, there's Spock waiting in the captain's chair. We'll put the uh, the captain's screen up. Like, Lori is totally into this. <laughs> I don't really like Star Trek, but I think that's cool. That's right. We'll convert you here. We've got five Creon characters, Captain Kirk. you got Dr. McCoy and Spock sitting in here. A couple villains for uh, a little interactive play. It's, uh, it's one of the most fun builds I've ever seen. That's awesome. Video Girl, you happy? You wanted us to show this one? All right. All right, let's see what's next at Hasbro. Okay, even more competitive mayhem here. This is a new game coming out. It's actually beat em has been around before, but now you got, you're just like ready to go. I've been waiting. Okay, how do we play? Well, you load your marbles into the shooter here. This is your beat em figure. We're gonna start blasting away at the wall. The first guy to get three of the red bricks, the other guy's side will be the man. Uh, beat em man, uh, tear yeah. down that wall. <laughs> Turn down that wall. You ready? All right, yes. Let's do this. Yes. No one's going to get that reference. Two, one. Crossfire! Oh, 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 I have lots of marbles in here. I didn't realize. Oh, oh. Oh, we've got tons of marbles in there. Oh, 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 Keep going. Oh. Reload, reload. You're losing your marbles, Lori. Oh, I can't pick these up. Okay. okay. Keep going. Okay. Keep going. Uh, 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 uh. Keep going. Okay. Reload, reload, okay. reload. Keep going. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh! 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 And it starts to get into this mode where you just keep hitting. And how many brothers do you have? I have 16 brothers. Right. Just keep hitting, hitting. Oh, and that's how it's really played. So let's see what else we've got here at Hasbro. You broke a sweat. Well, you probably know what Beyblade looks like, kind of like this, uh, but there's a whole new way of playing with Beyblade. This is Bay Warrior Shogun Steel. Laurie and Brian, let it rip. Already? <laughs> Are you ready? You're going to rev it up. Maximum RPM. Oh, You're burning ready. calories, I'm too. Ready? <laughs> ready? Three, I'm going. two, one, let it rip! Win, win! Go! <laughs> That's the last time you leave the dishes I'm in the just... sink. <laughs> oh! Now, all kidding aside, though, who who won? Who won? Ooh. Oh, I think you're still I'm going. Still going. Now you're, you're kicking me now. I'm down and you're <laughs> kicking me. That's how I roll. Unbelievable. Intra great new way, though. Come on. It's a great new way to play Beyblade. Kids love Bay Beyblade. They love the battling. Say that three times. They love the battling tops. But now we've got characters, and, and uh, these will get pieces knocked off them, right? Exactly. They're all interchangeable. You can take the arms off, the heads off, everything off, and interchange them, customize them. Ooh, but we're going to have fun with this. Let's see what's next. We've got a lot of My Little Pony product on these shelves behind us. What is all of this stuff? That looks like shampoo. It's a little hand soap. Oh, cute. And he's got a great hat on. So really, we have uh, over... Box awesome! Yes. <laughs> we have over 200 licensees in over 15 categories. She and wants it, really, it all! <laughs> it yeah. really allows us from the youngest girl to the older fans. Or the brownie. Um, uh, we have... <laughs> products that will everybody will love so truly from nail polish to toothpaste I like that color in between so I think it would look good on you Chris oh, I do thanks. think let's see a little DJ Pwn 3 blue yeah awesome well let's go see what's next and now we're getting ponyfied, My Little Pony, and Donna is here to explain all about this wonderful new castle. And is someone becoming a princess this year? Oh yes, Twilight Sparkle is becoming a princess where she has earned her right to grow wings. And so of course she needs a special place to get ready for her special coronation. So here is her Crystal Princess Suite where she has um, lots of accessories. This is a unique pony where you can press her head and her wings will move. 
All right, there. Very nice. Yes. And I believe there is one more other thing we're going to show you, so we're going to go over there right now. <laughs> Thank you for that segue, Chris. Yes. <laughs> so here we are with the Twilight, Twilight Sparkles herself, who is yes. becoming the princess. So what does this figure do? Well, this is the most magical Twilight Sparkle ever. She is the most animated princess. Um, her wings light up, and she comes to life, and she says phrases. Her eyes blink, and she really comes to life. She's also learning how to fly, of course, because she just got her wings as being a princess. So we can do a little demo of how she flies and they light up. She says magical phrases and she's on her way to learning how to become a princess and fly around Equestria. <laughs> Very cute. Well, we are going to continue flying around Hasbro, so let's see what's next. <laughs> it never ends. Hey, look what we found now. Chris made a friend. It's Elmo. Finally, I've got a friend. This is, this is Big Hugs Elmo. Full body Elmo, mm -hmm. really, really cool. And what happens is this is still the prototype, but when you hug him, he's going to hug you back. So Aww. it's really, really adorable. Uh, we're really excited to see this come out later this year because I don't get enough hugs. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm still not going to give you a hug. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Rats. Okay, Let's go see what else we can find. Okay. I'm taking Elmo and going home. <laughs> Hopefully you can hear us over all of this chattering. We're here with Furby Party Rockers. Little guys. They're I know. coming out this spring. They already have their personalities programmed Very into them, cute. though. But they'll, they'll interact with a big Furby, and we can sit them in the furbiture. <gasps> so cute. This is really, really These are adorable. cute. You can Great turn their ears, and look, pull their tails. Here's a teal oh. Furby for all of you who got disappointed and couldn't find them. <laughs> and they, I think they're going to make some more of them. Oh, that that's was good. actually that's the most good. popular one. That's so, my favorite color, actually. Teal? Yeah. That's a good color for yeah. you. Yeah. So, here. Oh, thank you. Let's go bake. <laughs> <laughs> In 1963, cooking with a light bulb took over the country with the launch of the avocado green Easy Bake Oven. I think it was either avocado green or teal. Well, this fall, the 50th anniversary of the Easy Bake Oven is coming out. The Easy Bake Ultimate Oven Special Edition. You can see it's black and silver, very much like contemporary, uh, contemporary kitchens. Lori, what's this? The One Direction boys, I want to play with this too. See, everybody can play with Easy Bay. <laughs> Lori, they made a toy out of one of my ancestors. <laughs> Krista? <laughs> oh, so maybe it's not one of my ancestors. Krista, what's this? This is Cuddles My Giggly Monkey. She's our silly new baby monkey ready to go for the spa. She's looking at me. I know. Well, if you stroke her cheeks over here with her sensors, she'll actually want to blow you a kiss over here. So she has sensors all... Oh, see, did you hear that? She just blew you a kiss. She has a crush on you, I think. But... See? <laughs> so she has sensors all over, so she loves to turn and look at you. She'll make her silly little baby monkey sounds, and so she'll look back at you and kiss at you again. She loves to be tickled, so she'll do her little monkey shimmy over here. Her adorable little banana bottle, so of course she has sensors in her mouth, so once you start doing this with her nursing, it looks like she's actually <laughs> And I can feel her pulling on the bottle, so it feels oh like she's gosh. actually feeding from the bottle right now. And of course, once I take it out, she's good to mm. go. Mmm, right. So she has a little switch underneath her arm and a sensor in her stomach, so she actually knows if I'm swinging her, so she'll actually start saying, like, wee, or like, yay. See? Mm. So she knows when she's swinging around, or even if I take her upside down, she's all about that monkeying around fun. And of course, after a long day, it's time to put her to sleep. So you just gently rock her back and forth, and she's gonna give me some kisses, and she'll eventually start to fall asleep. And there she went, Aww. asleep and snoring. So, so Krista, I guess here at Toy Fair, you feel a lot like uh, Joan Goodhall. <laughs> exactly. So we're going from giggling monkeys to barfing babies. Oh, good. <laughs> Well, I'm real disappointed because the bitsy burpsy prototype isn't working yet, so you're going to have to come back and watch baby throw up later. But in the meantime, we we've got, got more... 
Yeah, Big we've got dog. another Baby Alive doll. What is this new doll all about? So, this is Real Surprises Baby. Uh, she's all about the surprises. She can actually turn her head from side to side and let you know what she wants and doesn't want just like a real baby would. So you never know what she's going to do. And you can give her a bottle, feed her, change her, go make her go to sleep. So when you press her tummy, she thinks it's playtime. Hi, Mommy. Let's well, play. No, we're going to try and feed you and see what happens. So if I go to feed her, <laughs> see, oh. already she's like, nope, we're not having this. Typical child. Mm. So she's all about the surprises. You never know. So she no, can say and you. do over 30 different phrases. She'll surprise <laughs> you. She starts laughing, so of course she loves to be tickled and she loves to giggle. She comes with the three diapers, the three foods, the bottle, the binky, the spoon, the bowl, and the bib. And she knows when she has each one of these things in her mouth to respond to it. <laughs> Did you hear that? Yes. She has no manners. Excuse you. Excuse me. Sorry. Excuse. And do you hear her sniffing? Yes. She Did wants a surprise. I make the stinky? She left a surprise in her diaper for you. Oh no. Is it is it real is water? It she, real? Re <laughs> she she really she really wets her diaper? Yes, yeah, she uh, if she okay. were to actually eat this food or if she were to actually drink from her bottle, she I'm actually thirsty. does use uh, her diaper and um, depending on the color of the food. Will be the color of the surprise in the diaper. You never Lori, know what you're gonna get. Lori, that's yes. why they call her Baby Alive. <laughs> that's right. Ah! It's adorable. It is very cute. Should we see what we can find next? All right. Okay, Lori. Guess what? What? The first innovation in Play-Doh in 56 years in the compound. It started as a wallpaper cleaning compound, really uh, intensely, in 1956, and now it's Play-Doh Plus. Let's find out about this. Yes, let's. Would you please let us know what Play-Doh Plus is? Well, Play-Doh Plus is a new type of modeling compound. It's not replacing our regular mm -hmm. Play-Doh compound, but it's it's lighter, it's fluffier, it uh, it because of that it's more malleable and it lends itself to more detail so for instance I've made some nice treats here I've used the regular compound for my cookie and my cupcake but then I've decorated with this great icing so you can even see here how it, it and it extrudes. And it does. It really has that sort of frosting, icing it texture right. to it. It does. Of course, we don't eat it, but... <laughs> yes, you don't eat it. It's fun to play with, but not to eat. It smells pretty close to that, to that oh, yeah? regular... Pretty close. I feel not like quite. it's a little sweeter. Yeah, a little Ooh, sweeter. Oh, yeah. It does. Mm. It's a Salty pecal, sweet. It's a pecal, <laughs> little modeling compound. <laughs> With yeah. hints of elderberry. <laughs> we're, we're, we're trying to plus up the creativity of the kids. Yeah. And by giving them this slightly different compound, they're, they're able to be more creative. Awesome. Fa yeah. fa fa fantastic. So that's Hasbro. You've had a sneak peek backstage here at Hasbro. Come visit us anytime at timetoplaymag.com. We're taking you backstage at Toy Fair all week long.